but one will get to Crystal Lessons. Today we are the start of my iMood course. So um, actually you can check me out on t t for updates for on Twitter, uh, Facebook. I use very rarely Google Plus is actually on I mean Twitter and Google Plus are automatically automatic. And also you can also check out my YouTube channel, and that's actually where you can uh, mostly find my stuff. And also my website has a lot of stuff too, like uh, the mad .com for Microsoft lessons. You can get a lot of information here. It's a little bit choppy right now for some reason, I don't know. Um, so we go, today we're going to show you how to uh, uh, import for in iMovie. And this is for noobs and people who are have a little bit knowledge about video. Uh, and yeah, so I may say i actually not going to go uh, very detailed on this. It's quite basic. So, uh, so we're going to start iMovie. So first star iMovie. Uh, this iMovie is for some reason now loading. Even yeah. So uh, actually, uh, this is where I edited some of my footage. So I'm gonna go to uh, projects. You're gonna create a new project. So we're gonna call this a, a movie, not a trailer. I don't really want to recommend you make a trailer. It's very unprofessional, and I don't recommend you using these uh, presets because also that's very unprofessional. Uh, I was very new to iMovie when I used these. Um, but I recommend you using no theme. Let's call the movie a uh, lesson test. We're going to create multiple projects in this lesson so that uh, so uh, we're going to actually first talk about frame rates. So there's 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second, and the movie industry knows that they use 24 frames per second. So, um, yeah, so actually, I mean, I'll show you like uh, the part I mean, how it adjusts, but it looks like automatically it gave me 10p 60 frames per second, which is weird. Uh, I don't know. Um, I should uh, try to um, actually get the. <laughs> Here's a second, which is weird, but I know this is iMovie, and sometimes things are weird. I mean, say, well, basically, it's supposed to automatically adjust uh, to uh, what we're doing. So, um, yeah, I don't understand why it's set to that. Uh, maybe, yeah. So right now, it's I'm going to import some footage here. That's the basic import. And I think that it might automatically set when I import some other footage. So we're going to first start with... Uh, yeah, this is loading, so we're going to need to wait. How much time this will take to load? Literally, this is how fast SD card should take a little bit longer or less. <laughs> Let me say almost a, a little bit longer, but suppose to say it a little bit less time. Uh, okay, so I have some B-roll. It looks like, uh, yeah. So we, have, uh, we have multiple f sample footage. I did the longest one is the 60 frame per second one. Let me still remember it, so we're going to import selected. So uh, as you imported, as you can see here, uh, well, we actually um, have the footage in the uh, library. As it looks like here, it is a little bit jerky. Like it's uh, saying a date from where I when I got my Mac, literally. So um, yeah, this doesn't. Uh, I mean, see, well, here it is. You can reject footage also. Uh, you can reject footage. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, so here, uh, we're going to just check the frame rate. It's still at 60 frames per second because this base footage is 60 frames per second, as you can see. These are played a bit, so uh, that you get used to it. Uh, it might be a little bit choppy. Uh, I'll put something overlay on it. But it looks super smooth because it's 60 frames per second. So also, I'm going to move this, mute this out. So uh, you're going to move mute this out. Uh, my mouse is going to be slow also. That's weird. Uh, I actually don't know how to do that. You could just press the mute button to mute it by somehow, somehow, sometimes do it. Uh, also, you can actually add like vivo footage and all that stuff. But let's just add, uh, we're just going to delete that and just see if I could get some more footage here. Uh, so that's the first way to importing it. You connect your camera to your computer and will automatically detect it. Now we're going to import to file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the footage. So, um, okay. So actually now I got my footage. So I'm here. So actually I put this in a custom photo folder uh, with uh, uh, different frame rates. So we could test it out. And also one has a different resolution. Luckily I can't get 720 by 60 frames per second because my camera doesn't support apparently. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to just uh, reduce the full screen size. So what you can do is, another way is to drag it. Okay. Okay, so another way to actually just drag and drop your footage. So like, uh, like this, and this actually will drag and drop your footage correctly. I will just uh, delete that, and yeah. 
So uh, that's actually the highest. Re I mean, see, the highest resolution you could go to is 4K. I mean, see, if okay, so we're gonna actually just drag 30 frames per second footage. So this is supposed to set to yeah 1080p 30 frames per second. So if we delete that, uh, we're gonna see uh, it's still 1080p frames per second. We're gonna add a uh, we're going to add 60 frames per second footage. That was the largest in this pack. Uh, it automatically sets if you delete it. Um, and luckily, uh, um, I actually it uh, checks. Uh, also, it automatically checks it by checking the most footage, and also will be pre-based on your footage. So it automatically sets uh, your footage. So uh, let's just check 20 by 720 frames per second. Uh, that's uh, it's 720p automatically. Uh, set the footage to uh, 720p. Um, uh, so I'm gonna move this. Okay, so um, well, what else you can do? <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I may say you can also import music, but I would uh, talk about uh, out in another lesson. Drop uh, your footage into here, and and you can actually import the footage into there. So I could just import there. That might be a good idea. Also, if you want to keep your footage for other videos, I for some reason never do that. That's weird. Um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, that's actually all the frame rates. Uh, now I'm gonna give you, give you some 4K footage. This is the last way of importing footage is going to uh, a file um, import media, and you can even import iMovie mean, iOS project. But in this case, you are you don't exactly want to do that. Uh, so you can import media. I've already just said that, but I'm gonna import media for my Macintosh EZ. Uh, I'm going to go to users. You can even go to users. Just put that. And we're going to, I'm going to actually go to documents and just put all. I'm going to actually um, see. I'm going to find the, the footage folder that I created. I don't know why I can see it very easily, but yeah, there it is. And I'm going to put this. Uh, um, yeah, this is spelled incorrectly. Um, yeah, this footage here. So this is just a little bit of a silly experiment. But in this case, uh, this is supposed to adjust to 4K. This is not even 4K. That's just to note. Um, going to. Uh, but it's not even 4K. And this is at 60. It's going to cost 60 frames per second because the footage is 60 frames per second. I think that if, I mean I'm assuming now. Um, I think that if you have 4K at 30 frames per second, it's going to keep it 30 frames per second, not upscale to 60 per second. But in this case, it's going to encode 30 60 frames per second. And uh, yeah, so actually this part, I mean say it just doesn't have a very good detector. It looks like like it just I mean say it doesn't exactly have the best detector in the world. But sometimes it jumps to the resolution like if it's 1080p, it's just going. I mean even though this is 2560 by uh uh. 1600 the resolution it's just going to go 4k but it's quite close to 4k but just about and ironically you can encode 60 by 10 aspect ratio and only any other different aspect ratio that as you could do in the davinci resolve uh, this is like another professional photo that's very professional it's not meant for this time this time of video editing so uh yeah um so check out my next lesson for actually details about. Uh, let me just check my pages because I don't remember. So I I going to actually check this out. So um so check out my lesson uh, lesson for splitting and cutting video. So this is uh for this is still basic and this will be much more shorter than this lesson.